Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Matthews. I'm here at the Exercise Science Lab at Montclair State University to show you how to use hand grip dynamometers. So I have two different varieties here that work fairly similar to each other. Um, they are uh, both very good and hand grip dynamometers in general are good for giving you obviously hand grip strength. That's what they're used for. But hand grip strength is correlated to the muscle strength of other muscles as well as other actions of the body. So even though you're only measuring um, hand force, you are actually getting a, at least an indirect uh, estimate of how strong somebody is uh, sort of total body wide. Uh, of course, there's some critique to that, but um, they do, do generally correlate. So for both of these devices, there is a, uh, an adjustment that needs to be done to adjust this grip uh, size. So if you take the person's hand, you put the middle finger at sort of a 90 degree angle, it should fit nicely onto that uh, gripper part of the uh, device with the rest of the other side of the gripper in the palm. All right, so if it does not though, you can adjust that um, by with this one by turning the little knob here, it's gonna make it bigger or smaller. For this blue one here, you want the same thing. You want about a 90 degree, 90 degree bend, which for me right now, this is probably maybe one size too small. This one doesn't adjust with a knob. You're gonna have this little black piece of metal that's sort of a compression fill, uh, fit, fitting, and you're just going to flip, uh, switch that off, pull this out, and go up to a different level. So each of these metal, these silver metal sort of slots is a level of for the hand grip size, and you put it back in, flip the metal, the black metal uh, compression fill, fitting back in, and you test to see if it's the right size, which now this is the right size for me. All right, so for both of these, what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to have the person stand up or sit in a chair where they don't have anything on their um, the side of the body where their arm's being tested. And you want them to hold this either straight down to the side of their body or put their elbow at a 90 degree angle. You do not want them to bring their arm away from their body or to have this sort of straight up or twisting the, the hand in a supinated or pronated position. So for both of these, when you squeeze the hand grip dynamometer, you're going to see the dial, uh, the needle in the dial start to go up. So this one is measured in kilograms. In order to do the next trial, you need to push that needle back down to zero so you can do it again. For this one, there's also a needle. There's actually two needles in this one. You have the red needle and the black needle. The black needle is going to move according to whatever you're squeezing at the moment. Um, so right now you can see it's down to zero. The red needle goes up and it stays wherever the, the highest uh, force production was for that last trial. So in order to do another trial, you need to twist this white knob to get it back down to zero so you can do that again. All right, so that was a really quick introduction to hand grip dynamometers. Like I said, they're really, really handy for obviously measuring the strength of the hand, but that's something that correlates to strengths of the other muscles of the body as well as other actions of the body. So um, if that was helpful, I hope that you'll leave a, a comment below. If you have any questions, you can also leave comments below and I'll try to answer those questions. And please come back and watch another video. Thanks.